In this video, you're going to see how to unlock the bootloader of Motorola G31. In fact, this method works for any other Motorola phone which is out there. So if you have a Motorola phone, this is the video for you. Stick to this video because there are some crucial points that if you miss, you might have some issues. All you need is a Motorola phone and a PC and a USB cable. That's about it. And there's nothing else that you need. Without wasting any time, let's start the video. First step that you need is go to the settings of your phone. Once you are there, you need to find developers option, which is mostly in systems. For me, you can see there is no option, so I have to enable it. For that, go one back, go to about phone, tap build number seven times. This will let that hidden menu appear. Go one back, go to system again, and you'll see developer option right there. Tap on it. You will find OEM unlocking. For me, it's disabled because I don't have a SIM on the phone. You need a SIM card on the phone and you'll have it enabled. Once you have it enabled, enable that toggle, go one back, go to this website, which will be linked below. Unlock your bootloader will be shown and it has some points. Now, this is the point where your reading skills come to the point. You need to read each and every point because Motorola completely says that your device's warranty will be void the moment you get the unlocking code. What unlocking code is, I'm going to tell you in a moment. Make sure before you proceed or you click to next, you read every single point of them because you don't want to mess with the warranty of your phone if it is new. Once you click next, you'll be asked to sign in. Let me quickly do that and return back. Once you're signed in, you will see this page called unlock your bootloader and it has some software options as well like Android SDK as well as drivers. You can click on them, download them and install the drivers as well. But I'll leave the SDK folder from my PC right in the description. Now, if you read the first point, it's asking you to turn your device into fast boot mode. Second point is asking you to open command prompt to go to the directory where you have installed Android SDK. Make sure you click on command here, CMD here. Once you click on it, it's going to open something like this. Keep it aside. And now let's turn your phone into fast boot. So I'm going to restart my phone. And while my phone is restarting, I'm going to hold my volume down button. Make sure you hold the volume down or if this is not the right combination then search on the internet you'll find the right combination to turn your fast boot mode on and this is the screen that you will be created up now connect the usb cable to your pc you're going to get a notification on your pc saying that it is detected and the easy way to test this out is first let me copy this and now the easy way is you type fast boot devices and hit enter once you do that if you see a code like this sort of similar paste the code that i just copied at three and press enter you will see these total of one two three four five lines of codes you have to copy every single line of this code and paste it in a single line and it's given an example there so you have to make sure you follow that once you do that you have to click on can my device be unlocked once you click on it it will check the eligibility of your device is unlockable and once it does mention that it is you can scroll more down, click on agree and then request unlock key. But before that, make sure you read everything. You will be greeted up with step three, unlock your device. And it's going to say that a mail has been sent to you. This is the mail that they're talking about. It will have an unlock code. This is a special unique code for your specific device. Copy this and now come back to the page here. Once you copy the unlock code, first type fastboot devices to see if your device is still detected and then type Fastboot OEM unlock followed by the code that came to your email and press enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to give a notification on your device where you can select do not unlock or you can select unlock the bootloader with your volume keys. So I'll have to press the volume down key and then power button to make the selection. Once you do that, it's going to say finished bootloader is unlocked and every time now your phone will boot up, it's going to give you this notification. This is it. Now your phone's warranty is out and your phone's bootloader is successfully unlocked. So with that, I end today's video. If you have any questions, any queries, or if you are stuck somewhere, let me know in the comment section below. All the commands and all the links that I used in this video would be there in the description, which is right below the like button. Make sure that you check that out if you need to use them. And I'll be catching you guys later with another video. Until then, take care. Thank you.